Yeah. Here's another question about the, the 50 mile high. Um, for purposes of equipment and what you all prepare to take with you and fight up amongst the boys and everything, what, um, did, did they have like dehydrated food to oh, that like, I don't things know. like they provide at various camping stores now that you can take? Or you know, what, I don't. What kind of. Uh, I don't think we did. I mean, there was that available, but I think we, in our truck, we took, uh, there was food that was uh, purchased and brought to the campsites, and so we had. Uh, Normal food. So it wasn't like MREs or anything? No. And we had like sandwiches or something at lunch, but we carried that with us. And of course, now we, we also have the, uh, what are they called, the boiler? You boil the water, the Oh, where it's dehydrated? Was it was it the shirt and official uniform pants or just the shirt? Uh, everything. Everybody had a full uniform okay. by that time. Except for uh, any questions coming, I have a comment to make. The source of some of the information that I used to recall my memory was written on the. 50th anniversary of this troop. Mm -hmm. Now, in a hundred, uh, uh, in five more years, ah. Troop Five will be a hundred years old. I'm going to propose that you begin thinking of what I, what this troop ought to do on your hundredth birthday, and do something big at that time. Five years to work and think about it to do something. That would be grand. Pull those out again, Roland. <laughs> oh, no, pull those out again. You guys don't see, Roland Harrison has some uniforms there. Um, the interesting thing, if you look at the trousers or pants, they're, they're laced at the bottom. Yeah. Right? Um, and they aren't, they aren't as long as what you would think. You actually probably wore boots. Uh, as no, as it, no, socks. 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 That was winter uniform. Then you have short pants. And you still wear the socks in the summertime. Yeah, knee socks. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, with with little tabbies. Yeah, yeah. With little tabbies on them. Uh, yeah. And garters. I know that. Garters, garters, garters inside garters. of those. Yeah. So, so these were laced around your ankle or no, lower leg? No, around the calf. Around yeah, the calf. yeah, and then socks came up. Yeah. Over them. Yeah. Whose are they? Mine. No. Yours. Who are they? I, they're yours? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, this is the summer. The, the I never saw them before. It does not have a collar. So the yeah. one that Mr. Wurz wore last Monday did have a little bit of collar. Okay. In those days, you wore a neckerchief um, similar to what's on the table here um, because you did not have a collar on the shirt. And that was part of the, the uniforming um, for them. But this was summer uniform. Summer, yes. right. And I have a long sleeve shirt I didn't bring. Yeah. In yeah. the wintertime. And it did have a collar. And had a collar. Yeah. That was a junior assistant scoutmaster there. And, and it says Austin, so is that Austin, Texas? Yes. Okay. Oh. Did I hear Austin? Yeah. Austin, Texas. Texas, yeah. He's got a council strip. I, I guess that's what you call a few it. things while they're thinking again. Uh, I just, uh, the 52 mile hike was the highlight. That's what we talked about mostly. It was really quite an accomplishment. But I started out, you know, as a tenderfoot, like everybody, and uh, my first hike was very memorable too. It was uh, around Thanksgiving time and we had, we had snow. We hiked in the snow.
snow up to Circle Mountain. And that was really fun. That was really fun. And we, uh, I remember walking across some of these old girder type bridges with, with uh, poles in the floor. So you'd walk across and you could see down to the river. And we went to Eccleston's house. Martin Eccleston was a scout master. And we went over there and kind of warmed up. And it was cold. And uh, Mrs. Eccleston made squaw bread. And uh, that was delicious. I'd never had that before. So I remember those kind of things. And uh, I remember my first camp out. It didn't, uh, they, there were a lot of boys going, wanted to go on snipe hunts and sort of uh, take advantage <laughs> of us, little tender feet. And, you know, <laughs> Yes. I think they wanted to steal your underwear and run it up the flagpole. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> Talk a little bit. About I wouldn't have anything about. of that, so I, I wasn't too cooperative with them. Talk a little bit about more about the dinners that you guys prepared. In, in the history, it mentioned foil dinners, which we still use today, like you call them scout burgers now. It refers to them as a different name in there. But what was a typical kind of meal? I mean, did you guys cook in Dutch ovens? Was it all foil dinners? Or well, yeah, foil would be an easy thing to cook on. You could take that with you and cook easily under the coals. So we would do that and breakfast and make eggs and sausage, you know, <laughs> with it in a little skillet. And Dutch oven, we had some of that. That was a little bit of trouble because it was a big cleanup truck. <laughs> yeah, a big heavy thing to carry around. <laughs> so, so pros and cons again, yeah. you know, there. I also remember my first uh, visit to Camp Cherokee, which I guess is no more? Right. Uh, yes, it's around 2003. Yeah, something, something like that. They yeah, it was a nice camp, and uh, but my first experience in it, these are, these are when I was still just a tenderfoot. You guys are, I don't know if anybody here is just that I young, that young, 11, or you're that, you're not that young, though. I'm 12. 12, okay, 12. okay you're a little bit more. Oh, so I went to summer camp, and that should be a great experience. Everybody wants to go to summer camp, right? And um, I did after this, but the first time. I didn't want to, and I remember uh, after my parents dropped me off, uh, I cried and cried and cried. <laughs> and I think I had to go. I had to go to the infirmary first for some kind of medical check. I don't remember what it was. Had to do some medical check, and I didn't really want to do that. And then there was swimming down there, and I didn't really like the uh, uh, showers. Do you want common showers for everybody? I just really didn't really like that. So for for a half a day, I was really lonely. And then everything got by. It was a wonderful experience. <laughs> the check-in process was a little bit different than we do now. We, we typically, uh, today we, we try to do the swim checks and stuff first. They actually did it as part of your medical check there at camp uh, when you first checked in. Yes, that's right. Mm. Do you remember going to Philmont? I do. Mm -hmm. But that was for Daddy at the time, my mom's training. Right, that yes. wasn't with the yes. troop. We went down to the training center. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we went along as a family. So uh, we were all fun back then. You don't remember going, do you remember going on the overnight at Philmont? Yeah. You're obviously not remembering what I remember. <laughs> Is there another question back here? Failed to hear the question. Did you, do you remember having a court of honor to give advancement and merit badges? Yes. And, and the troop I came from, also Troop 5 in Trafford, Pennsylvania. So even as a youth, you remember a court of honor? Cor I'm, I'm taking you back. We had court of honors there on a district level. Oh. Not, not as a Hall troop. We, in we Austin. Not as a troop. The, the whole city. The whole city together. Yeah. Yeah. All at one time. Yeah. Oh, wow. So you probably only had one a year. Mm, I don't know how often. I can't remember how often. Yeah. I could go look at my trunk. I didn't have time. <laughs> what do you remember well, here? We did, we what do you remember troop, about this troop? Honor, troop? I think just within the troop here. In the troop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe what was the question? Maybe there were more scouts by The that. court of honor here was in the troop, not in the city. No. We, we did it. 
we did it for a group of, tro of uh, troops in a district. Right, when you were a youth. But yeah. in this troop, when you're an adult, I, you, I, that you just had it for the troop. I don't remember that. Oh, okay. One thing you should do is go to Pawhuska, which maybe you already have. Yes. But I was going to come lately to it, even though here I was in the troop and active and uh, I'm an Eagle Scout. And, uh, okay, so, but until, I don't know, this would probably be 12 years ago, maybe 15 years ago now. I have a family of my own and went to Pawhuska. And there did I see where the first Boy Scout troop in America was in Pawhuska. Look yes. at that, yeah. which is our neighbor, a little town. And there it was, and it's kind of funny how that happened because it, it's an Episcopal church, and the uh, pastor there was an Anglican from England, and he brought it from England because Baden Powell had just started the Scouts in England, and he brought it here to Oklahoma, so the very first troop in the whole United States was in Pawhuska. And it was a Boy Scout, but it was actually an English, English charter for England. Charter for yeah. England. Yeah. It wasn't so then, BSU. I don't know what the first troop in America was. Char um, John charter. Works mentioned it last week. Uh -huh. um, uh, but he did mention the, the museum there in Tusk as well. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's a fascinating for museum. Yeah. It's really mm -hmm. worth a visit. Just, it's a very good museum. In fact, I think you'll have to go to the museum to be sure this is true. I think I remember when they turned 100 that that troop hiked here to oh. Bartlesville to form the first troop here, which I think is Troop 1 at First Christian Church. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that is. So it could be the first one could be here. Maybe. I, I don't know if that makes America. us the first one in America. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, that was on the cool. national website, they have several firsts, such as a continuous charter from the right. original charter, um, okay. same sponsoring institution, those yeah. kind of things. So they, they outline different several categories on the national website. And, and is trip five five years from being 100? Uh, April 1920. Okay. Four years. Four now. Yeah. April 20th. We ought to have a big to do on April 20th, whatever that is. <laughs> so you mentioned bikes to Circle Mountains. Did you guys actually just start out here at the church and bike, or did y'all drive out? Um, you know, we didn't start here. Uh, it wasn't the city outskirts of town. The Eccleses may have lived down there on, uh, I don't know. Johnstone. Is it Johnstone? I think it is. It was Johnstone. So we were we probably started from near there. We ended it there. We probably started there because we kind of on the way. Do you remember having to prepare for the winter uh, races? They had a big toboggan. They yeah. had Klondike, uh, where they had great big log things, and they went out with temperature to zero or something mm -hmm. snow or anything else. Mm -hmm. Some of my boys did that. What did they race? Well, I say race. They like pushed a, it around. I don't know. A sled, know. A sled yeah. kind of thing. I tell you, <laughs> camping is so good now because uh, uh, I've, I've uh, had an opportunity to go camping again in recent years with, you know, my own kids and their kids. And the equipment is so good now. <laughs> it's really a pleasure. But when I was in the, when I was in the trip, I did not really like camping certain times of year that much, namely in the winter <laughs> and in the heat of the summer. Because then we had these canvas wall tents. They were big and heavy and hot. And in the winter time, there just seemed, seemed to be no way you could get up in the morning and put on your boots and have anything other than just ice fur to keep the hurt. Nothing you could do. We tried all kinds of different things, but our bags just were not good enough stay warm all night and keep things warm. But uh, now I go and it's no problem at all to have a nice full night's sleep because the equipment is so much better. So you don't do a, a winter camp, like a week long event anymore um, in our town. When you were growing up, did they, still, did they do a week long winter camp? Not a week long, no. We just had some overnight, you know, one or two nights a week on a week. Week. Yeah, is Trapper's cold? 
Because it's in February. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you've had snow. Oh, yeah, you've had snow. Okay. Well, there have been people who have had snow in March, so, <laughs> yeah.